Let's face it, when you're playing with things like gunpowder and explosive compounds in primers, things can get a little bit dangerous. A double charge can wreak havoc on your pistol and even cause personal injury. So let's see how on the Dillon XL650 we can use the powder check system to make sure that we avoid powder problems like uh, squib loads or double charges. On the Dillon XL650 uh, progressive reloading press, station number three has been designed into the way the press operates so that it can be used for a powder check station. Just after the powder charge is dispensed, the powder level can be confirmed and if not right, will cause a buzzer to go off which will alert you to the issue and can then uh, help you to diagnose when it went wrong, to take the bad rounds out of the press, and so on and so forth. And this is really the ultimate system for, for checking powder because you don't have to look at anything. All you have to do is listen. So the first thing we need to do to set up the powder check station is to install the, the die, the powder check die, in the press. And we've already done that. What we want to do is raise the, the ram all the way to the top and then allow between an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch of clearance between the top of the shell plate and the bottom of the die surface. In the next steps, we're going to take the actual buzzer assembly and install that onto the die and then dial in our our powder check rod. This brass surface here is what's going to seat against the powder and will cause us to confirm the proper level. So we're going to take the upper assembly and guide the um, shell plate contacting rod through the the hole that's integrated into the tool head and then we're going to, to center the rod in the hole. We can then take our Allen key and tighten, tighten the assembly, making sure to keep it aligned so that it will, it will stay in its proper orientation over the course of loading our ammo. Since we're going to be loading 45 ACP, we are going to use the rod uh, with the large brass contactor. And what we want to do is drop that in, down in through the central part of the upper assembly. And then we can um, raise the ram and validate that the buzzer goes off, which will confirm the adjustment of our rod, making sure that it comes up high enough to cause our buzzer to actuate, but not so high as to damage the plastic housing. So it looks like this setting is good. So the next thing we're going to do is going to be to take out our, our brass locator pins under station 3 and under station 4. And then we are going to put a uh, case in under station number 3 and just double check that if we have a squib load that the buzzer does indeed sound. Next we can insert the shell casing at the priming station, charge a case, we expect the buzzer to go off there. Now if the rod is adjusted properly, we will not hear the alarm sound at station number three. So that's good. That's properly validating our, our powder charge. And here's another shot showing the validation of a proper powder charge. Looks like we're good to go there. And just to make sure that this is going to detect a double charge, let's synthesize a double charge by putting the case under station number two. And then putting it back into station number two, we, we're using uh, a low powder charge here, so we can easily double charge here. Okay, so now we have our, our case under the powder check station. It's got two loads of Winchester 231. Let's see what happens now when we go to check and that's good. So now we've detected a squib load, we've detected a double charge, and we're not getting the alarm when we have our proper powder level set. And once again from a different vantage point, this is what um, our, our rod looks like when we get a double charge. And hey, it looks like we ran out of 
primers at the same time. What do you know? Well, our press is completely set up. We had already been loading a 45 ACP uh, with some lead bullets and Winchester 231. Uh, so let's take a look at what it looks like when we actually load uh, with the powder check system in place. So we are going to hear, um, let me undo my case shut off there. We're going to hear the buzzer go off until we get a case with a charge through there. And that's actually a nice feature because then you know that the batteries aren't low. So it, you're in effect checking it. There we go. No buzzer. And we won't hear the buzzer now. Uh, unless we have an issue with uh, a powder charge, which is unlikely on the Dillon because it has the positive return system with this, with this rod here. So it's both a very safe system and with the powder check uh, system in place, it's, it's doubly safe because it's got our back as well. Reloading can be dangerous, but when we're using accessories like the Dillon powder check system, it helps us to be confident with the ammunition that we're producing, to make sure that it's going to work consistently, and most importantly, be safe. I hope you, that you've enjoyed this Dillon video, and I hope that you'll also join us on UltimateReloader.com as we continue to explore different aspects of reloading with this progressive reloading press. Thank you.